For those of you that don't know, my name is Amory Schubert. I'm the VA portion of the VA Sacramento County. Um, let me start by saying this. We in the DA's office and in law enforcement think we're in the business of trying to keep everybody safe. And so this year is a, a very different way to, to do our award ceremony. And we all know that normally we do this in April during Crime Victims Rights Week across this country. This year is obviously very different. But we also recognize that that it's important for us to, to move forward and do what we do every day, whether it's in the courtroom, whether it's in this building, whether it's in the community, and that is to uh, celebrate the good work that so many people do uh, to keep us moving and to um, really support that important public safety concept. So I'm super proud to be here today. This is our 21st, I think, annual ceremony, which is extraordinary. Um, it started many, many years ago. Um, it's been kind of uh, taken off by many other counties across the state, across this country, because we cannot do our jobs without people like you. And uh, we thank you for that. So this year, because of the pandemic, obviously we're doing things differently. Everybody in this room is obviously socially distanced unless you're in your little cohort. Um, we have our masks. I don't have it on right now for speaking purposes, but I'll put it back on. We are live streaming this, so hopefully your friends and family and whoever else wants to can watch this and, and celebrate um, today as we move forward. Um, so you can see on the back we have our homicide quilts, which go with our homicide support network, which recognize people that have lost their lives to violence in our so today, normally we do this all in one setting. We do our Beacon of Hope Awards and we do our Outstanding Citizens, but because of, of the times we're in right now, we're gonna split that up. Uh, this morning we'll do our Beacon of Hope, this afternoon we'll do our Outstanding Citizens. We're gonna take all our necessary precautions, and I thank uh, both Rochelle and uh, Shelly for helping out in getting this all together. So today, this morning, is our Beacon of Hope, and this award was started just a couple years ago because there was a realization when, when we recognize folks from our community, that there are folks out there, as I would like to say, they harvest hope. And they support victims in ways that are unique, and they step forward with empathy and compassion and really hope. And that's why this award is such an important thing for today. For Linda, for the Kellers, I'm just super proud um, to be able to stand here. So before I introduce Nancy to start our award, there's, you know, when I think about this award, there's a couple things that come to mind, at least for me, in terms of quotes. And we all, those of us in this business like to use quotes. And many years ago, I don't want to date myself, but Nancy and I think we were in the same unit together in child abuse. Uh, she's never leaving it, just so you know. Um, I had a little uh, quote on my desk that said, each of us, whether we have anything to do with children or not, are directly affected by how we're treated. And so the recipients today, Linda and the Kellers, I think that's testament that you have realized is that we're all affected by how they're treated. And when I think about the, the Kellers and your profession as being a police officer, um, and in the times that we are living in and the challenges that we're facing, uh, the quote I saw this morning was, when you think about the way the never white started. And, and all of us, whether we're prosecutors, law enforcement, um, public safety professionals, we have to always go back to why we start. And then lastly, when we talk about this beacon of hope, um, there's a quote from uh, Desmond Tutu, which is, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all the darkness. And so today, I thank you all for being here and providing that hope. And with that, I'll turn it over to Nancy. being here in person and virtually to celebrate the honorees of this year's Beacon of Hope Award, Linda Borden and the Keller family. Remember me. The word remember comes from the Latin rema merari. To remember, to bring back an image and or thought, to remember someone by not forgetting they once lived. Remembering a life, even if it was a life only for a few days, weeks, months, or a few years. 
the names that you see scrolling behind me are less than half of the names of children that our award recipient, Linda Borden, watches over through her organization, Remember Me. In our work, we prosecute the individuals who do unspeakable acts against innocent children. We envision their faces red with vulgar anger, violently abusing children. And we can imagine the faces of those little ones, their eyes swimming in tears and their chins dimpled in fear and pain, their lives erased and gone, the senseless, unexplainable loss. The cemeteries, now the keepers of their stories untold. Their unlived lives now silenced. Their dreams never realized. The countless echoes of what if songs unsung. The lives never fulfilled to what, what could have been. Their possibility and potential never known. But, remember me, Linda Borden will, as she does throughout the year, she will spend an afternoon this autumn going to the cemeteries when the maples are clad in gold and scarlet leaves are falling like poems of regret onto the sad heart of the earth. And there within those gates, she hears the sound of quiet winds in huddling trees that whisper the stories of those who cannot speak themselves. But she remembers. She remembers the little children and babies that once were. Remembrance allows their becoming possible again by not forgetting they once lived. Linda knows that remembrance restores possibility to the past. Remember me. Linda's dedication to the memory of children lost is exemplified by her strength, empathy, and the compassion she affords the most vulnerable victims of crime. Linda Borden cares very deeply about the well-being of all children. She was especially bothered and upset by crimes against children at the hands of their parents or caregivers. She herself, a mother, would talk with her adult son David about wanting to do something for these lost and forgotten children. He gave her the idea to put flowers on the graves of murdered children. Linda wanted to remember these children who often had no one to support them or treasure them while they lived, and certainly no one to watch over them or remember them after they had died. As she often says, all these children deserve better than what they got. In 2012, Linda started her organization, Remember Me, dedicated to the memory of abused children. I first met Linda when she was in court while I was prosecuting a torture case of a 12-year-old girl. She quietly sat and watched the proceedings day after day, and one day, organization, Remember Me, she continues to be dedicated to the memory of abused children. She has a file on children who have been murdered, who are missing, and children who have been severely abused or neglected within Sacramento County. Her two file drawers hold more than 120 names of lost children. Again, many of them you see scrolling behind me on the screen. She attends court proceedings to stay up on current cases and be someone visible for children who have no one else. Linda cleans their grave sites 
puts out flowers and buys headstones for children that have never received one. Occasional, occasionally, she will receive a donation for her organization, but most of the funds used are raised by Linda herself. Linda is a State Fair Award winning baker. She often will sell her cakes to help fund her organization. But because she loves to bake, and she loves law enforcement, and she loves our office, uh, she will often uh, provide cakes to law enforcement units some of our uh, lieutenants and uh, officers are here today, as well as sending cakes to the DAs in the socket unit. Linda mostly operates independently, but her friend Megan, who is here today, assisted her before moving to Arizona. Linda's husband, Carl, who is here, and her son, David, are very supportive of her pursuits and are very proud of what she does. Linda's goal is to be sure that our children lost to violence will be remembered. Poet Lawrence Binion wrote, they shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. Anne-Marie, it is my honor to present to you Ms. Linda Borden for this year's Beacon of Hope Award. Thank you, Anne Marie. Good morning. Nine years ago, I started Remember Me. Remember Me is dedicated to the memory of abused children murdered by their parent or caregiver. I picked the name Remember Me because I wanted these children to never be forgotten. I clean their gravesites and put fresh flowers on each grave. When there is a trial, I attend the trial. When I started Remember Me, I had no idea that years later, I would be standing here accepting an award for my work by a group that I admire, respect, and hold in such high regard. It is truly overwhelming. I thank my husband, Carl, for giving me a life that allows me to pursue my dreams and passions. I would also like to thank my friend Megan Helsel, who listens to me describe the horrors I've heard when I attend a trial, and for helping me go from gravesite to gravesite in the cold and rain. She helped me sell cakes for fresh flowers, grave markers, and donations in a child's memory. But most of all, I would like to thank the prosecutors who prosecute these cases. It is not an easy job and not everyone can do it. But in my opinion, they are the finest lawyers you would ever want on your side. Thank you for thinking of me. I will treasure my award always. Thank you. I didn't think. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take the picture? Oh, sure. With the mask? Yeah. Yes, mask too. <laughs> Do I 
the order by the Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah.